बिस्मिल्लाम एवरी वन I'm Dr. Shahzeh Shahani here. Today's topic is histology of nervous tissue. In the last lecture, we did the types of neurons and types of uh, neuroglial cells, their structural differences, and their functions. Today, we are going to discuss the uh, differences between the ganglia, nuclei, gray, and white matters, and uh, different layers of typical nerve. So nervous system, as we did, is divided structurally into central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Uh, the central nervous system, it is uh, consists of the cerebrum, cerebellum, spinal cord. There is no connective tissue in between. It is soft gel-like uh, substance. Vein section. As in case of cerebrum and cerebellum, when these cerebrum and cerebellum section, they will show a uh, gray matter and white matter. Arrangement of gray and white matter in case of cerebrum and cerebellum is uh, gray matter is light outside, while the white matter is present inside. While in case of the spinal cord, the gray matter is inside. Arrangement of gray matter, the gray matter is inside and white matter is outside. So these uh, brain and spinal cord are covered by a layer of meninges. These meninges are dura mater, arconoid mater and pia mater. Here is the dura mater. It has two layers in case of brain and meningeal layer and endosteal layer. Look at the cursor, here's the dura mater. It has two layers in the brain, meningeal layer and endosteal layer, while in case of spinal cord, it has only one layer continued down, that is the meningeal layer. So this is the arachnoid mater, or arachnoid layer, having an arachnoid villi and this is the pyometer a thin sheet of loose connective tissue with along with the blood vessels in case of uh, cerebrum the gray matter it contains six layers six layer gray matter what is gray matter it is actually a collection of neuronal cell bodies along with their dendrites and glial cells. Glial cells are the supporting cells. So it have a six layers, which is composed of neurons, layer one to layer six. It is composed of neurons. Neurons are mostly pyramidal. They are mostly the sensory plus the motor neurons. Here's the neuron and these are the glial cells. So actually, uh, gray matter is a collection of neuronal cell bodies along with their dendrites and the glial cells around. White matter containing the uh, myelinated uh, exons along with the, myel myel the cells which are responsible for the myelination in the CNS, which are oligodendrocytes. In case of cerebellum, uh, we compare the cerebrum and cerebellum. Uh, cerebellum having uh, three layers, cortex or gray matter have uh, three layers. In case of cerebrum, they, these are six layers of uh, gray matter. So three layers, this is the outer uh, molecular layer. This is the central layer, which contain the Purkinje cells. And this one is the granular layer, innermost layer. So white matter of uh, cerebellum is same as the cerebrum. It has an exon along with the oligodendro oligodendrocytes. 
in case of spinal cord gray matter arrangement of gray matter and white matter is a little bit different than the brain uh, gray matter lies inside while the white matter you can see in this diagram white matter lies outside and gray matter lies inside while in case of brain cerebrum uh, brain it lies uh, gray matter is outside and white matter is inside in case of spinal cord gray matter is inside and white matter is outside so gray matter arrangement is like a shape having a central canal which is lined by ependymal cells and these are the legs of h these legs of h will form anterior horn and the posterior horn these anterior and posterior horn containing the motor neurons anterior horn contain the motor neurons and posterior horn containing the sensory neuron so neurons are large and multipolar neuron the gray matter contain so the, here is the white matter which is same it containing the exon along with the myelin sheets so it has having anterior column posterior column and lateral column peripheral nervous system it is uh, consist of mainly peripheral nerves ganglia and nerve endings so bundle of nerve fibers outside the cns surrounded by connective tissue it is the peripheral nervous system nerve fiber consist of axons enveloped by a special sheet is a group of uh, axons covered by a special sheath and group of fibers these group of fibers will constitute the peripheral nerves peripheral nerves are two types myelinated nerve fiber and unmyelinated nerve fiber myelinated nerve fibers these myelinated nerve fiber are a single axon which is wrapped along a around a single uh shown cells to form a my, uh, myelin sheet single axon that is wrapped by a this is the shown cells having a nuclei this single shown cell wrapped a single axon and wrapped around a, this single uh, axon to form a sheet myelin sheet unmyelinated axons these shown cells starts to envelop multiple axons the unmyelinated axons are enveloped by the shown cells but there are no myelin shape sheath wrappings there are no myelin they envelop the axons but there is no myelin sheath wraps around the axon here's the nucleus of shown cells here's the shown cell here it wrap the axon but there is no myelin sheath wrappings as in case of this myelinated here is the wrappings of myelinated sheath here there is no wrappings but it they are just in case by shown cells here is the nucleus of shown cells here is the axon which is myelinated by a shown cells so conduction velocity of the axon depends on the extent of myelination unmyelinated fibers there is no nodes of ranwear as you see in this diagram there is no nodes of ranwear there is a nodes of ranwear present there is a continuous conduction of elastic continuous conduction and slower conduction while in case of myelinated fibers there are gaps present there are the sections of myelination sheath these are called the 
these gates are called the no nodes of ranware so these are actually the booster stations which gives strong depolarization which keeps the action potential moving quickly along the exon this is the exon so these are the booster stations these are node of ranware are booster stations which gives a strong depolarization which keeps action potential moving so quickly along the exon so in case of myelinated fibers that's why uh, the conduction velocity is faster as compared to the unmyelinated fibers so connective tissue investments uh, nerve is covered by a connective tissue that is the dense and loose connective tissue epineurium most outer covering this is the nerve most outer covering is the dense collagenous connective tissue epineurium which is composed of dense collagenous tissue which containing the elastic fibers it prevents damage by its over stretching so epineurium of the nerve most outer covering of the nerve which prevents its over stretching because it's containing the elastic fibers and the second layer is the perineurium this is the perineurium a fascicles a number of a bundle of axons which are covered by a another connective tissue layer this is the perineurium it isolates the neuronal environment and form the blood nerve barrier here it form the blood nerve barrier here as the blood blood vessels here this perineurium form the blood nerve barrier it is also composed of dense connective tissue a layer of epithelioids is all around so second one is the third one is the endoneurium which covers the individual nerve fiber here you can see in this diagram this is the epineurium this is the perineurium covers the individual fascicle of collection of nerve fibers here the endoneurium which surround the individual muscle fiber nerve fiber this is the histological uh, diagram so this is the fascicle fascicle is covered by perineurium this is the perineurium here is the blood vessel and this is the nucleus of shan cells this is the epineurium shan cell shan cell perineurium and this is the fascicle bundle of nerve fibers here is the transverse section epi most outer layer of nerve is the epineurium and this fascicle is surrounded by a perineurium individual nerve fiber it is surrounded by a endoneurium Here is the endoneurium these are the nuclei of shan cells these are myelinated fibers the next a uh, ganglia what is ganglia and what is the difference between nuclei and uh, ganglia nuclei are collection of cell bodies within the cns and ganglia it is a collection of cell bodies outside the cns means collection of cell bodies in the peripheral nervous system it is a wide structure containing neuronal cell bodies along with the glial cells glial cells are supporting cells which is also supported by the connective tissue what is the function of ganglia the function of uh, ganglia uh, uh, these are the relay stations to transmit the impulses from one neuron to another neuron the types are sensory ganglia and the autonomic ganglia the sensory ganglia the cell bodies of sensory neurons these are the unipolar cell bodies enveloped by a cuboidal capsule you can see in this, this diagram these are the unipolar cell bodies enveloped by a cuboidal capsule cells so these are the unipolar cell bodies 
it has sensory ganglia having uh, two types cranial ganglia and spinal ganglia cranial ganglia is these cranial ganglia are associated with the cranial nerves and spinal ganglia these are associated with the spinal nerve and second one is the autonomic ganglia here is the autonomic ganglia these are the multiple multipolar neurons enveloped by a stellate cells so these autonomic ganglia cell bodies of they containing the cell bodies of the post ganglionic autonomic nerves here is the example of uh, sensory ganglia dorsal root ganglia here is the sensory neuron unipolar neuron having two processes central and peripheral so this is the example of sensory root ganglia <clears throat> functional classification of nerves are sensory nerve fibers and motor nerve fibers sensory nerve fibers carry sensory input from the cutaneous area <clears throat> like in this diagram they carry sensory input from the cutaneous area towards the cns while in case of motor nerve fibers these motor nerve fibers which are originate either in the brain either they originate at the level of spinal cord so they carry the impulses towards the effector organs another classification is the functional classification of motor component it is divided into somatic motor uh, system and autonomic nervous system somatic motor uh, system they provide the motor impulses to the skeletal muscles their cell bodies lies in the motor nuclei of brain or the ventral horn of our anterior horn of spinal cord their axons travels to the skeletal muscle via the either through the cranial nerves either or through the spinal nerves autonomic nervous system they provide the impulses towards the smooth muscles of viscera cardiac muscles or to the secretory cells of the glands Uh, autonomic nervous system it contains two two types of neurons first neuron and second neuron mean first neuron is pre ganglionic and second neuron is the post ganglionic fibers it contain as you can see in this diagram this is the sympathetic outflow in this diagram you see this is the thoracic segment so outflow of sympathetic system is through the thoracolumbar outflow while in case of parasympathetic it, it is the craniosacral outflow so for example these are the thoracic segments these containing the first neuron their cell bodies lies at the level of spinal cord their axon travels and there is a, a sympathetic chain parasympathetic chain which lies parallel to the spinal cord here this ganglia or ganglionic chain these are the ganglia containing the cell bodies of the second order neuron or second neuron here is the cell body of first neuron in the thoracic segments their axons travel without synapsing with these uh, ganglion of sympathetic chain they directly synapse with with the a uh, ciliary ganglion in the abdominal cavity so here is the first neuron which synapses with the second neuron so ciliary ganglion is the uh, ganglion which containing the cell bodies of second neuron this is the second neuron so ganglion it is a collection of cell bodies outside the cna so here is the first uh, neuron which neuron which is present before their cell bodies lies in the uh, uh, spinal cord segments so for this first neuron is called as a pre ganglionic neuron and this ganglion containing the cell bodies of 
post ganglionic neuron our second neuron this is the post ganglionic our second neuron which supplies the for example c8 ganglion its fiber post ganglionic fibers going to supply the pancreas stomach and small and large intestine so autonomic nervous system here are some differences parasympathetic system their nuclei lies in the a brain medulla and midbrain and the sacral portion of spinal cord while in case of sympathetic system their nuclei lies in the thoracic and lumbar segments of spinal cord preganglionic fibers in case of parasympathetic system they leave through uh, leave the cns through the cranial nerves 3 7 9 and 10 and also through the sacral uh, nerves second third and fourth sacral nerves while the preganglionic fibers of the sympathetic system leave the cns by way of ventral roots that is the spinal nerves ventral roots from the thoraco lumbar segments and so other difference is ganglion in case of parasympathetic fibers they lie nearer to the effector organ while in case of sympathetic they are away from the effector organ so chemical mediators in case of parasympathetic system is the acetylcholine while in case of the sympathetic system is the norepinephrine so synapses synapses it is a site of impulse transmission or site of communication between the two neurons it converts the electrical signals into the chemical signals it permits the neuron to communicate with the other neuron types of synapses are exodendritic synapses as its name suggests exodendritic a communication between the exon and dendrites of an other neuron exosomatic soma means body exo somatic exon there is a communication between the exon and body of another neuron exo exonic there is a communication between the two exons and fourth type is the dendrodendritic it is a communication between the dendrites of two neurons here in this diagram you can see exodendritic and exo somatic synapses here is the synapse here is the terminal button exon having terminal buttons here is the presynaptic membrane postsynaptic membrane this is the synaptic cleft presynaptic membrane containing the synaptic vesicles these are the mitochondria present over it so this was all about the uh, nervous tissue we completed today the nervous tissue if you have any query kindly whatsapp me and uh, whatsapp me your names and roll numbers after taking screenshots so thank you all